It'll be a really great series no matter what. For sure. Twisted Minds want to come in and say, hey, listen, we understand that we're the second favorite coming into this Community Cup, but we're ready to put on a performance that looks like number one. And here we go. We already got Endless trying to send it down to the Twisted Minds end and trying to get this thing started off as it barely goes right underneath the crossbar, right above the crossbar, and going to be staying out. Twisted Minds able to catch, catch a little bit of a break there. Yep. Early stages right now. Endless playing a lot of heavy defense couple shots coming through. There's a great attempt in a pass, but I do like this from Endless, what I've seen. Some unwavering confidence as far as defense is concerned. It's a great pass and play here. One over to the other. Shot was on target, too. And this first 30 seconds, equal on both sides, in my opinion. Yeah. Very back and forth right now. Everyone just trying to jockey for position. Nobody really able to get a solid, clean possession just quite yet, aside from that very first opening play coming in from Endless. But as I say that, Twisted Minds Able to open up the floodgates, starting off early. Great play here, too. Knopf tried to get a beat out on it, and it, it kind of fell on Chuck to try and make some sort of connection on that because it really just fell into the minds of twist, uh, into the hands of Twisted Minds off that one. But I write, you take every opportunity handed to you, and if you are successful uh, when given it, that is a great thing. So Twisted Minds first on the board in that first minute there, looking to turn it into two if possible. But connection on this one from Trook. And it's a, it's a slow down, 1v1. Beat out, goes in favor of Endless for now. Yeah, Twisted Minds doing a solid job on these challenges. Endless trying to keep the possession, but nothing gonna come out of it for now. Demo coming, coming out. Might be able to help out Twisted Minds just a little bit as they do set up this offensive play. Tried to waterfall it down, but the defense is going to be there. Twisted Minds keeping up the pressure. Tomosin looking for the center, but that is going to get fully cleared way on out and maybe even taken down for a little bit extra, but not just quite. As Twisted Minds are able to hold that off and send it right back down the other way. One thing I am noticing right now, too, Twisted Minds like to keep one person very, very far upfield cheating, just kind of anticipating a lot of these clears coming through right now. It was most in, but he backs off a little bit. Follow-up from SMW does come through, but it's a great save from Twisted Minds, or Endless, excuse me. In this first two minutes in here, Endless, they have been able to keep this at a one-goal game. Could turn into two here if Twisted Minds turn around, but Z4 trying to run away with this one. Drives it upfield, and this is a this is good opportunity from Endless. I like what I'm seeing. Not being held back too much for too long. Yeah, you can see they're actually able to put together some of these nice counterattack plays off of the Twisted Minds aggression. And, you know, Twisted Minds haven't been able to really put anything on target quite yet. Aside from right there, a nice opportunity coming out. The last couple minutes have been pretty quiet. Aside from that opening goal from Twisted Mind, so overall solid play from Endless to be able to keep them at bay. Yeah, I definitely like this from Endless. I mean, you have to have very, very strong, uh, heavy defense to be able to keep up with a team like Twisted Mind, who is very offensive heavy at times, right? They work very, very well together, being able to connect on a lot of their plays, but what also makes them extremely threatening is when they are given the space to do any sort of a solo play, it becomes that much more difficult to defend. So less than two minutes to go in this game. Number one, Twisted Minds just holding on with a one goal lead. And Truk just taking his time. Got the mid boost, pops this up over to, I believe, Z4. It's a shot taken off by Knopf, but it's a slow one. Easy read there for Twisted Minds. Yeah, no power behind it whatsoever. And that means they're going back the other way. The double not going to connect. The follow up from Mawson not going to be there either. And now Truk going to be heading back the other way. One man to beat the shot is not good as the defense is going to be there yet again. Man, Whippo with another clutch save to make sure the Endless do not end up on the board. And I will say this Endless squad, they have been showing a lot of a, a lot of promise early on in this game. Yes, the, the, I think that is the best way to describe Endless right now is that their promise in this has definitely been noted, not only by us, but by Twisted Minds. Again, it's it's four minutes into this match and you're only winning by one. I'm sure Twisted Minds expect a lot more for themselves. It's, it's an attempt to go to number two here, but on the flip side, it's a counter and a quick one at that 45 on the clock here. It's a huge clear for Twisted Minds. Immediately sent back. No connection off this one. Endless just trying to find their way even towards that net at this point. But it's proven 
much bigger challenge than they might have expected. Yeah, nice opportunity here for Endless. Dangerous in front of the net, but a big save going to be coming out for Twisted Minds one more time yet again. Man, this squad and Twisted Minds just keep on battling it back no matter how much Endless try, try to get something on the board. It does not matter. Twisted Minds are holding the line perfectly. They really are eight seconds left on the clock. That was probably one of the better opportunities, but no connection on the second follow up there. Knopf double off the backboard follow up not to be found. Instead, it's a pass from one end of the field to the other. It could get killed or turn into a last second heroic opportunity for endless. But it looks like Twisted Minds, they've got their hands on this ball for now. Zero oh. second goal, though, pulls through. We've seen this three separate times today. Something about Mina and those golden goals happen every single time. And everything had to go right there for Endless. Able to keep it up, making sure that the ball never dropped. Great communication, great coordination. And if you're Twisted Minds, you're kicking yourself a little bit about some of those touches. You really and truly are, but you can't do that for too long. You just got to get right back into the swing of things in this overtime. Game number one, just intense in every shape and form right now. Z4 gets 50 off this one. It's an on target shot too. And there you have it. Twisted Mind's going to end things in 23 seconds. Yeah, I mean, Whippo going to be finishing this one off. I mean, great stuff going to be coming out from Twisted Minds to be able to clutch it up when they needed to. It was looking a little bit shaky there. Shout for how game number one could have gone. Yeah, or how the day's going. Like you said, the third zero second goal that we've gotten on the day. These squads are bringing it and they are giving us a show to not forget for sure. So we're getting game number two started. Twisted Minds going to be looking to, to put the pedal to the metal a little bit. We talked about it. I know you guys talked about it in the last series, how, all right, game number one was close, but game number two, if we know we're the better team, this is where we really want to try and show our stuff. Yes, I could not agree more. I think a lot of the times that game number two, if a team is able to respond, it gives, you know, a much higher chance for them to be able to still compete in this series overall. Although sometimes you've seen a couple of those exceptions to the, you know, historic back and forth off that one, right? Especially in our last series. But for now, this is Endless's game to try and win. Once you fall to that match point, especially against a team like Twisted Minds, it is that much more difficult to try and reverse sweep. Another option gonna be coming in here for Twisted Minds. Austin looking for the play. The center does come out. The demo's there, and oh my goodness, SMW there with the cleanup. Twisted Minds with a great play overall. You could tell the coordination was all there. Went for that demo. Wasn't a chance that that was going to be stopped. It is just, it, it is. It's, it's very solid coordination. It, unfortunate from Knopf, though, that that touch doesn't quite clear out as far or as strong as he would have hoped for. But the one thing about Twisted Minds that is going to happen a lot of the times is you have to anticipate those follow-ups. They are going to be so much faster than you might think. And uh, that could be a detriment to Endless if they aren't able to, you know, really clean those up. That was almost a crazy dunk for SMW, but it falls out. Mostin tries to leave this one to fall for Nupo. But Twisted Minds for now. Offensive heavy, staying in charge. Yeah, Mawson sends it off the backboard, but the defense for Endless is still going to stay strong. Truk trying to keep this one in their possession and get it out of their half, but it's going to be easier said than done as Twisted Minds doing a solid job keeping this one all on the Endless half and keeping this pressure up. And pressure makes diamonds, and that's exactly what's happened as Nepo is able to put in the second goal for Twisted Minds. I mean, you know what? It, this is one of the best players, not only in Mina, but in the world. At least in my eyes, a lot of people will argue, argue with me on that one. But as, as far as mechanics are concerned, he is very, very capable. Doesn't always uh, have to be, in the words of Corelli, the, the flashiest or the fanciest goals. But as long as you're consistent, uh, that is really all that matters. 2-0 lead in favor of Twisted Minds right now. Endless just haven't quite been able to get a grip back on this game like they did in uh, their first one. So it's been a little bit of slower, a much more heavy defensive game for Endless right now. But uh, more than enough time to really get back into it. It's just more being able to keep this ball close and giving no space to Twisted Minds. Oh yeah, precisely. I mean, there's still like a whole second half of this game 
to go. And I mean, if Endless can try to play a little bit more like they played in that first game for a good two, three minute stretch, and they might be able to come back into this one because we remember how much pressure they were able to put onto Twisted Minds. And really, Twisted Minds kind of got lucky at a lot of those breaks. I mean, a couple balls went off the crossbar, a couple balls went off the post, like a couple different angles. And I mean, Endless might have been able to pull out that game one victory a little bit cleaner. But oh man, Endless, like I stated, coming back with a vengeance. Is Truck going to be able to get that first one? Trying to make this comeback happen. Finally, a little bit of a beat out on the defense. You saw that initial, not almost bait, right? He Z4 forced uh, Mosin to make that challenge, but then it was a double commit off the second, which was free range for Chook to take that shot. And just like that, they are back in the game. Great save there from Chook, just trying to, again, keep this out of one goal game so they can get onto the other side of things. Dupo, though, other plans, just one shot after the other. These demos might be enough to send them home and let them clear past mid. Yeah, Mawson going to be looking for this pass. Not going to be able to get one, though. So yet again, Endless is going to be there. Truck trying to keep the center, make the infield pass happen. But it is going to be blocked one more time. SMW all by his lonesome. He'll take it and he'll make it three to one. Twisted Minds. I like this solo play too. I mean, zero boost on Chook means it turns into a quick little 1v1. And well, that's an, a, a very winnable one for Nupo. Two goal extension to Twisted Minds with just over 90 seconds to go in this game number two here. I mean, you know, Twisted Minds, they're going to want to try and attempt to take this one in a sweep, not throw down any games whatsoever but endless not quite looking like themselves or at least as confident but all in all due in favor to the fact that twisted minds really have just been up in their faces and that is a very difficult challenge to you know have to fight against oh for sure i mean when you got the other team trying to starve you a boost the whole game when you got them just constantly looking for demos and bumps they can get it can tire you down for sure, and that's exactly what we're seeing here is Twisted Minds just putting on an onslaught onto this Endless back half, and what are Endless going to be able to do about it? They have to answer back. They've only got a minute left to score a couple of goals, and the way that Twisted Minds have been playing so far, I don't think that that's going to be in the cards, but they're never out of it until that clock hits zero. Exactly. We've seen this before. 41 seconds and three goals down. It got taken to OT with Falcons. 35 on the clock. It's a shot on net for Twisted Minds. They don't want the same results. Saves his flip. Takes his time. Follow up coming through. It's a mini double off the crossbar for SMW. And just like that, Twisted Minds have turned this into a comeback that is near impossible. Yeah, I mean, Twisted Minds really just Put the pedal to the metal right there. They said, all right, listen, uh, we're not going to be messing around no more. And let's, let's go ahead and make a statement in this game that they are not going to be messing with us. That game, number one, it was cute. But at the end of the day, we know what we came here to do in this eSports World Cup. Community Cup featuring Rocket League. 13 to go with a three goal lead it is basically impossible at this point. Endless, they're trying their hardest, but it's a race back to a fifth potential goal here. This one's gonna hit the ground though. It ends four to one with Twisted Minds headed towards match point. Yeah, I mean, Twisted It's a one game at a time, right? You're just trying to get one foot in the door and stay there, uh, which is a big challenge, but isn't quite impossible. Not at all, especially uh, the way that the Endless was playing in that game number one. Like I stated, if they can find that confidence, they'll definitely maybe be able to steal a game from Twisted Minds. But I also do feel like if they were going to steal a game, that game number one was probably where it needed to happen. Because I don't know if Twisted Minds is going to be uh, is going to be as uh, maybe having their guard down as they did in game number one. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. I, I think Twisted Minds is coming in with the exact same energy that they brought in those first two initial games. In this first 30 seconds, it takes two shots on target to really just shake the boots of everybody on Endless right now. They are playing so much defense, so much more than they would like to right now. Ground pinch to try and set someone up, but instead it goes one end to the other. Twisted Minds just really forcing a fast game out of Endless. And eventually you would think somebody would get caught off guard, but Endless take this one away, take a shot on target, and their follow through doesn't go through, but this is a better looking Endless. 
Yeah, definitely better looking, but you saw all three players on the side of Twisted Minds are ready to save that shot, and that means that the rotations are clean. Things are looking all good for Twisted Minds, even when they falter, still able to make sure that they hold the line. And they got the mindset, hey, listen, if we if they don't score, we can't lose. And right now they are keeping Endless Minds out of their net, doing everything that possible to keep this one as low as possible because they know if they go to an overtime, Twisted Minds definitely have the advantage coming into this one. So they'll be feeling good regardless, as long as it's a low scoring affair. Exactly. Just trying to take advantage of every opportunity you can find. This was one of the better ones. No follow up, though, to that center. And Nupo just trying to walk this ball into that blue half. Endless other plans to be had. Trying to use those bumps and those demos to push Twisted Minds off of this ball so they have a chance to really just throw themselves at it for once. But it's always these very, very short lived plays with Endless. It doesn't last more than a couple touches at a time, and that's not what you need. You need to be able to create the space to have a solid shot on target. 1v1, unsuccessful follow-up by Mosin. 1v1 in the air, past one, falls down. It's a mid half clear. Second shot goes sent back towards mid. And right now, endless, it is just a, again, it is a very defensive heavy game, but like you said, defense, it can win. It's not possible if you keep this low scoring. Oh yeah, precisely. And right now, Ooh, Nupo does find the center, gets it across, right underneath the crossbar. Close call gonna be coming in. Twisted Mind's not able to convert though. Endless is gonna be saying thank you very much to the crossbar here. And I mean, like you said, it is just no touches at all that Endless are able to get in succession. Twisted Mind's answer right back as Nupo gonna be putting that one in. I have seen this in every single series today where if that backboard is not covered, it is, it is almost a guaranteed goal at that point. And there you have it. It's just another testament to, you know, space gives goals and same can be said for Endless. They finally find a crack in the defense off the kickoff there. It's a beat out touch that allows Z4 to just get the quick tiny follow up on it. And just like that, we are back to a tied game. Yeah, I mean, Endless, they found their groove right there. Now the question is, can they keep it up? Because they are gonna need to break this ice if they want to have this reverse sweep be possible. Right now, Twisted Minds are going to be locking that defensive end up, but maybe trying to apply a little bit more pressure here onto this Endless side. Finally, Endless going to be able to get a clear onto it, but are they going to be able to make something out of the clear? That's the big issue is that at this squad, they haven't been able to put together many clean looks just because anytime they do get a touch, it's, it's just thrown together. It feels like the plays are because they're taking what they can get and Twisted Minds aren't giving them much. No, they, they really aren't. This one, though, does feel a lot closer. And my goodness, that was an incredible shot off the side. Still, though, even playing ground between both teams, it's an opportunity for Z4, and he takes it all the way through. He saw the space. He, he knew if he could beat out that last defender, it pretty much was free, and he just takes his time. A minute 15 on the clock. Endless are back in the game. Z4 with a wide open net, he will say, I will take those all day long. And now Twisted Minds have to do it again. Are they gonna be able to find a way to get this equalizer? And as we say that, I mean, I don't think that's gonna be the case is right now Endless are starting to cook. They, yes, <laughs> they definitely are. They are outpacing Twisted Minds off of every kickoff, at least as far as the last two were concerned. And just over a minute to go, Twisted Minds got to be scratching their heads like, okay, how do we get back into this? How do we slow them down off of this kickoff every single time? And this was one of the better moments. Pass up field over to Nupo. He has to go for the 1v1, tries to go for the bump play off of it. Not quite successful, but it is a great idea. Just bumping Endless off of the play, out of the way but it's still, it just, it has not been enough. Not quite yet. I mean, still 40 seconds left on the clock for Twisted Minds to be able to come back in this one. We've seen them be able to score in rapid succession. Just like that, a great opportunity for them. Not gonna be converted on, and that is gonna hurt if you're Twisted Minds, because it's all endless if you're here in game number three. They have all the control that they need 
Gonna be looking to maybe put the ice in on the cake if they can get a nice counter attack here as well. And that's exactly what's gonna happen because it's a wide open net. Endless are gonna fully take advantage of this one. They absolutely are. I mean, I was just waiting to see at what point does Endless start to force Twisted Minds a little bit more upfield than they are comfortable playing with. But I think that's also due in fact to Twisted Minds realizing they are they have so little time to try and, you know, find so much success that you are kind of playing that high risk, high reward play style. The difference is Endless has made so much more connection with this ball that it, it unfortunately is too little too late, even with this one finding its way through. Three seconds on the clock just isn't enough. It's just more like, hey, here's a good idea that we can take into this game number four. Uh, but for now, you got to respect Endless with the comeback. Yeah, a nice little way for Twisted Minds to stop the momentum that Endless were able to start building up in this game number three. So Twisted Minds will be feeling a little bit better about how this game's ending. But overall, they're not going to be feeling all that great about taking the loss as Endless because if Endless are able to get two in a row, that's where Twisted Minds are going to really be on their heels and really be double-guessing a lot of the decisions that they're making. And you never know what could happen in a game five. Exactly. This is, I mean, couldn't be more important to Endless. You, you are still trying to reverse sweep Twisted Minds right now. You got one game done successfully. You're looking for two. And Twisted Minds trying to follow up their shots. Not the cleanest. Instead, it's a counter here for Endless. This one gets left down. It's a shot on target. Love the save there, though, from Nupo. It's not going to end. Twisted Minds working together, crossing that midfield line. Big clear up field. Yeah, now Nupo's going to try to get the challenge in the corner, able to get the center as well. The shot slightly off target to the left. Demo coming out means that it might go the other way if Endless are going to be able to get a solid enough touch onto it, and that's not going to be the case. Nupo again is going to be able to get a touch onto it. The center not going to be there, but here we go. As DRK is going to be able to get a hand onto it. And that's not quite yet able to come out of it for Twisted Minds. I mean, the defense from Endless is solid. It, it really is. And that's what I got to give them props to the most. Uh, a lot of the times when you're going up against these, you know, top dogs of any region, to be fair, right? The one thing that will make you stand out against them is how strong and unfaltering your defense is. And the fact that Endless have been able to, you know, really just hold it together, hold their own against Twisted Minds has kept them in this series and really given them a chance when they can find the opportunities to find at least a goal on defense right now. But for the time being, it's been a scoreless game. Nupo to the backboard. Attempt to follow up, completely denied, and it's huge clear and counter upfield for Endless. Another solid play out of Endless to make sure that Twisted Minds aren't going to be able to get that first goal just quite yet. Nupo is almost able to line that one up, put that one right in. Two minutes into this one, though, nobody able to get that early momentum, and we stated it. I mean, listen, Endless had a lot of momentum going on in that game, but the fact that Twisted Minds were able to get that goal at the very end put a little bit of a halt to that. So now we find ourselves in a 0-0 situation, a couple minutes into game number four, an oh-so-pivotal game number four, and oh my goodness, Trook with an absolutely incredible play. Instead of just full sending it, he said, you know what? Let me just go ahead and wait and hit him with a little hezzy. I don't need to hit it yet. And just <laughs> able to power it through. Oh, my gosh. It's just, it's it's the forced dunk. It's just pure pressure, throwing yourself at that ball, putting his car in a position, too, where it was still going to be touched again. And there you have it, endless up by one, Twisted Minds having to try and respond here. And this is where things started to get a little shaky for Twisted Minds in that last game. Once Endless got a lead, it, they didn't even have to really run away with it. They just played defense like their lives absolutely depended on it. And that is what keeps them in this series. Right now, Endless, if they want to stay in this series, are going to need to hold off Twisted Minds and is definitely not an easy feat as that goes dangerously in front of the net. Twisted Minds almost able to convert already. It's most in, not able to find the center just quite. Wasn't able to get a solid enough touch onto it, and it's going to get cleared away by Endless. That doesn't mean the Twisted Minds aren't going to be able to get it right back into their possession and send it back the other way. Nupo does end up getting this one stolen. 
sent into the corner. And yet again, Twisted Mind's not able to put together a super solid look on the offensive end as the defense from Endless, they aren't messing around today. They said they understand they've got six, 90 seconds remaining to hold them off to force a game five, and they understand what that could bring. Exactly. You, if you can take Twisted Minds to a game five, this becomes so much more ego driven than I think a lot of people realize. And that's where you can start to shake the confidence of those top teams a little bit. As far as the, the Falcons victory esports series was concerned, right? When victory esports started pulling this on the Falcons, they kicked it up to, to notch 10. And, and really told them to kind of sit down a little bit. The difference is when Twisted Minds are in a, in a place where they have to come back endless, kind of tell them, hey, you know what? We can match you. And that's what they've done for the most part. Finally, a play from Twisted Minds pulls through. It's a shot towards that backboard, but Nupo just meets it up in the air, takes the shot and ties the game. Nupo yet again, doing what Nupo does. Another goal added to his tally in this series. And right there, that was probably the most important one. That right there is gonna guarantee yourself in overtime if you can hang on for about 50 more seconds. Make sure that you don't immediately head into that fable to game five. But right now, Twisted Minds are gonna be doing everything that they can to get it out of their half. Endless have done solid at finding these answers, these counterattacks, these openings to the Twisted Minds defense. And Right here and now, this is the most important time for Twisted Minds to not let anything slip. I mean, you want to talk about this being the most important moment to not slip up. And I get nervous because there's been times where the defense is kind of tuning up a little bit too far for comfort. Or you see those players going for those early demos to kind of just force them out of the way. But eight seconds left on the clock. Twisted Minds want to be the ones to steal this. It's a big clear. Pass over to Nupo to the backboard. He has the space. Follow up. It's here. It's almost zero seconds had it been on target, but it goes sidewall to the ground and we get ourselves another OT. If this game lasted about five seconds longer, uh, oh man, that might not have been an overtime. But anyway, we go to overtime anyway, and it doesn't matter because Nupo says we're going to end it in five extra seconds anyway, essentially. <laughs> wow. Jesus, the, the reset to the sidewall to double in is just insane. I, I feel like...